Hi everyone, thanks for watching HRTV, I'm Siri. And I'm Sabrina. So our first story for this week is actually how stress can begin before you even enter the office. Um, a recent survey has revealed the seven deadly sins of commuting to work and the top one, no surprises, is actually bad and dangerous driving. Going to work is stressful of course, but then if you have to deal with um, bad drivers. Yeah, and like uh, inconvenient mm. situations or delays, then that could definitely add to some stress. Definitely. Uh, Plus, if you are in a bad traffic jam, that really would aggravate your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, um, we have an article online yeah. that talks about this and also there are some tips on what you can do or what HR professionals can do to help their employees deal with the stress in the morning. So, one of the suggestions was actually flexible working hours. Mm -hmm. So, if you know your employee lives um, you know, a bit further away from the office, you could be a bit more lenient with their coming in time. But what about... Um, you could, I mean, taking the other views that they could wake up earlier to avoid the traffic jam. That's true. Interestingly, this week we also uh, posted a story on how, like, when employees are getting more creative with their ex uh, excuses when they are late, right? Yeah, um, one of the more interesting ones was, um, my dog ate my blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know, like, if they are not late in the beginning, then they don't have to. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think there was one guy said, you know, he knew he was going to be late, so I might as well go get some donuts. <laughs> Well, at least he is thinking of his employees. I guess. I'm thinking of his colleagues. <laughs> so, if you have any um, funny stories, or if you have employees who actually gave you some believable excuses, then maybe you could just let us know on our Facebook page, yes. and we can share it with everyone else. Right. So, moving on to our next story, um, Dutch Bank ABN Amro has actually launched a new certification program for their private bankers. So, um, this program is actually to help bankers understand the market better mm -hmm. and um, be able to tailor their services better to, to the industry. Again, it's good that companies are investing in their employees because it helps drive retention yeah. and then it also betters their services and products. So yeah. I guess it's a whole yeah. big um, chain of good reactions. Yes, and in a video that you interviewed with a CEO recently, mm -hmm. you said the same thing, right? Companies should develop their talent or they mm -hmm. will Lose them. Yes. What was that? Exactly what I thought. I remember it was a really powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Very powerful. Blah. Um, he said that someone who is good today may yeah. not be good tomorrow. So that's just trying to show that you should constantly update your skills. Um, if you're an employee or an employer, so it's important for everyone. Correct. Okay. So, uh, additionally, people you meet be on a professional or casual setting, uh, they will always associate you with how you dress and how you present yourself, or even how you speak. Yeah. Right? So, um. We uh we ran a story about UBS and the dress code. We covered that quite a bit. So we actually went out and spoke to some um, professionals, mm -hmm. and one actually suggested that there should be a dress code not only for your client-facing employees but also across the board because you know at the office you receive guests and visitors. Yeah. So even employees who aren't supposed to be on um, the front lines yeah. will still be presenting an image. Okay. So on the topic of branding, uh, we also have an article about corporate branding, mm -hmm. uh, specifically online corporate branding. Okay. So um, again, we also covered this topic last week about um, going online and doing more virtual activities. Uh, so we have an article where there are tips on what you can do to better improve your online um, branding. Okay. So in a way, it's just making your website more uh, friendly to job applicants, like yes. applicants who are and potential employees who are interested in joining your company and they want to find out. So I think with most of us being really tech savvy these mm -hmm. days, a website that gives all the information about career opportunities and and I guess it just attracts. It, it's just another way of attracting talent. Yeah, and it's convenient. So mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest draw um, for any employee or any yeah. customer. Who, who is looking for more information about your website or okay. about your company. Mm -hmm. So the income gap between locals and expats in China are narrowing now. So uh, this means that on average expats can only probably earn 20% more than locals compared to previously where they could earn up to four times the yeah. local packages. So this could be good news or bad news depending on which side you're from. Uh, for the Chinese employees is good news because it also means that the standard of um, work and standard of services are going up but then I guess for expats you know um, it depends <laughs> <laughs> yeah like if you do not have uh, relevant work experience even if you have the, even you have the academic qualifications um, Chinese employees are not really um, don't really see the value they mm -hmm. prefer like um, expatriates who have the both uh, particular experience and leadership 
quality. Yeah. Um, but then again, more companies are expanding into China. So, mm. you know, probably in the first few stages of the expansion, they will still uh, send a representative from the host country or the home country of the company to oversee the, the yeah. overseas base. Mm. So, um, you know, maybe expats and locals should work together. And yeah, probably. So I guess there will be a balance of mm -hmm. um, foreign and local talent. Yeah. So um, meanwhile, head on over to our blog. We have some new articles there. Mm -hmm. And also you can catch up on all the older episodes of a Small Talk and interviews um, on the blog itself. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter where you can get updates and also our Facebook page where there are links to articles. That's about all the time we have today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.